Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now I want to, in this particular video, give you an overview of how you can really speed up your development. It's something that I've been thinking deeply about. I, I always think, okay, how can we empower ourselves, but also our user base and those connected to us to develop much quicker inside of Power BI. And I still think there's a long way to go. I still think there's many areas of inefficiencies around development. And I want to just show you one of the key things that I've been doing, one of the main things that I've been doing to speed up my own development and also um, have seen others use this effectively as well. So to speed up your development, one of the main things you need to master uh, is what's called formula patterns, right? So there's all of these patterns that you can reuse over and over and over again. And really all it takes is subbing in or changing parameters within within uh, particular formulas. Like as an example, what we have here, right, is we've got cumulative sales. Now, this is a pattern for, for a dynamic cumulative total. And all I've done is, or all we need to do is change the what I term the core measure inside of this pattern, right? And we could um, basically sub anything in here. So, I mean, this is a pretty generic data model. Um, this is a model which is you know pr pretty common. I've used this in many different examples, but it's basically just saying, okay, well, here is um, I would organize, probably organize this a little bit better, just like like so. <clears throat> here is uh, all of our sales, and here's the details about our sales. And so we've calculated sales up here. But just as easily, right, using this formula pattern, I could, um, and I'm sure a lot of you know this, right? I could, I could do things like I could go total orders like so, um, just using a simple count rows of the ta of, 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 of the table. So I've created another. This is what I call a core measure, right? And then very quickly, I can then sub just by copying this um, formula. I could sub it uh, in here, and I could go cumulative orders like so. And then all of a sudden I have a cumulative total of that orders measure that I created, right? And I'm able to do that very, very quickly. So this is step one, making sure that you can really quickly <clears throat> generate lots of different insights utilizing formula patterns. Okay, so if I just come in and change this quickly, and then all of now all of a sudden I've got a cumulative total. And and the same can be done for, you know, we could go um, like in, the, in this particular case, we've got cumulative uh, sales and um, very quickly we could we could compare this year's sales versus last year's sales just by subbing in our our first time comparison measure into this pattern and have sales last year which is down here you know all, all i need to do is sub that in, and i've got a cumulative sales last year as well so i've demonstrated this quite a few times but the reality is is there's actually a lot of formula patterns okay there's a lot there's i mean there's probably 10 to 15 sort of core ones but there's a lot of ones that um, are used a little bit more uh, rarely and they, they would still though be considered patterns that you could sub in and out whenever whenever you like now on our education platform we have a lot of these in our learning center um, but I want to what I want to show you is is the analyst type and I've been yeah you know, we, we released this at the start of the year but I've been using this increasingly more and more and more and I've been seeing a lot of others um, use this. this this tool is becoming a lot more popular in the power bi community and here's the reason why because you could have 100, 200 formula patterns. And what we enable you to do just with this one little app is you can actually catalog all of your formulas, right? And then quickly use them as a way, as a way like say you're working in your Power BI report, you can quickly come in here and copy them into your model. So as an example, I've created, there's a few, there's a lot of features in here. There's a community feature, um, but there's also a way for you um, where you can sort of just have a look what everyone else is doing, kind of like a social media feed, um, but also you can save them in your private documents and your personal documents. And so what I've done is I've got a whole range of patterns in here that I use very regularly. So for example, I've got my top ranking pattern, right? So you see here, this is a, a pattern that I use all the time. Say I wanted to show the top ranking of something, instead of having to remember how to exactly write this, I've got it located inside of here. And then what I can do is I can copy the code, and this, and this is honestly what I am doing all the time. I can come in here and I can say create a new measure, and instead let's do something different. I'm gonna I'm gonna paste it in, but I'm gonna say um, my top five product sales. Okay, so I'm just gonna change around top five product sales. Okay, and then all I need to do is change change the parameters here. So this is looking at something completely different. You can actually customize these templates however you like. By the way. So I just go products and then that's it. I don't need to change anything else because everything else actually is already um, 
named the, 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 a similar way as, as my previous example, right? So now I've got this function, didn't even have to think about it, I did it in about 10 seconds. And then if I bring this in uh, here, if I bring in my product name, and I bring this next to it, this should only show me my top five products. And this is a totally dynamic calculation, by the way. <laughs> and so I could then turn this into a visualization, and then I've got this nice visual. And so I, a lot of times the, these sort of visuals can take you a long time, right? But once you do it um, uh, a few times uh, and then you catalog it, you realize, wow, this is this can actually be, I can get all of my insights quite quickly. And so say for instance, okay, I want to I copy it again. I mean, I could copy that measure, but let's just, let's create, create another, another, um, uh, another pattern here. We reuse this one. So I'm just going to paste it in again and I'm going to go top five regions regions um, by orders okay so let's go by orders and then i'm just going to change this uh, parameter in here so the, the the pattern stays exactly the same and i know i've got a table called regions so let's just let's just go all regions and then i'm just going to change orders here right and the way that you set up your patterns um you know could determine how how quick and easy this is like you might have variables you might have a um, a, a different way that you set these up like I've got a variable I've used variables in this particular example okay and then so I could then copy and paste this visualization and just change grab something from my region so let's grab let's grab city here and then I'll grab this one in here and now dynamically I've got my top um, top five regions okay so that one hasn't worked just yet so let's figure out what's going on there um top five so if, if we're not getting the answer we want we just go to a table let's have a look so we've got total orders here so maybe what we need to do instead of uh oh it's probably because probably because this isn't the most this isn't the, actually the granularity of the um of the so let's 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 just grab the actual city and let's see if that fixes it yeah okay so it just was because it, that city was not the most granular wasn't the most so this understanding context is still absolutely key right it wasn't the most granular level of that particular um lookup table Okay, so then I just turn this into a visualization and then voila, I've got two really quick visualizations just like that, okay? And so that's just that's just one example um, how I was able to really quickly do that. And, and what I'm finding, what I'm finding, this is really interesting, is that I don't even have to think about it. I just, I just have to think conceptually about what I want to show. And then I just don't really, I need to understand what is going on here. There's no, there's no getting around that, but at least I am able to just by default come in here and then all of my patterns are ready. So here's another one I use all the time, percent of total pattern, right? And so again, this is quite simple, but um, again, I can really quickly, just quickly copy this in and go paste it in and then, okay, so let's have a, let's go percent of city sales. Okay, so um, all I need to do here is um, then go by city. Okay, so I just change those parameters around and then I'm going to grab my city here and then it's, and everything is pre-populated for me so I don't need to, um, I'm just going to get a whole range of percentages all adding up to 100 and then I can change the format of this like so and then quickly like that I have another visualization <clears throat> without having to really you know, think too deeply about what is going on in the pattern. I just by default know what is uh, what is going to calculate with that particular pattern because I'm just really familiar with it. I've saved it. I've used it many times, etc. And so that's all, all all I think you need to do as well. And so we can get more advanced. So we've got like a grouping formula. Um, so so I won't I won't sort of redo any more of these. But averages over time. So this is I mean this is a pretty simple one. But again, don't have to write it out. Uh, we've got a banding example. So this is a really common pattern, um, ways that you can um, create segmentation and groups dynamically in your data sets. And so this is a formula pattern you can use. And I can, and there's within the Analyst Hub, there's all these other things, but I can actually drill down into just formulas as well. 
and so I've got switch true logic. So this is logic that you might use. You know, very uh, it's very common in calculated columns, um, also within within measures as well. There's so much flexibility around how around how you can use switch true. I've got some great videos about that online as well. Um, date add, average of time banding, run that um, grouping pattern idea, and so the clustering analysis, cumulative totals with all selected, sum x. Um, previous value excluding weekends and we, uh, holidays so this is just getting a little bit more advanced some slightly more advanced ones but these are the things that you use you're, you're likely to quite commonly use if, if um, well there's there's a highly likelihood that you use these quite often right and the fact that you can just quickly come in here and you don't have to think about writing that out or think about how to create that that, that calculation you can literally just copy it from here um, if you have a good understanding of how it actually works, sales of bottom 80% customers, another really good one that um, could be quite interesting, right? So, I mean, let's let's see if we can make this one work. Um, so I'll just copy the code here. So this is a slightly more advanced one, right? Something that, you know, you, you might quite really do, but it would be nice to not have to think about how to actually write this out every single time, right? So I know that... Um, Total sales is like obviously quite common, right? So let's have a look. Let's get this into a table first. We'll get the um, we'll get the customer we'll get the customer index in here because that was the column that we were using, right? In the in the particular formula. So we want to make sure. So you see here, customer index. <clears throat> Do we have customers? Yep. Okay. So let's have a look. So we'll bring this one in, and then I'm going to select that. And to me, this is actually only showing the bottom customers, very likely. So let's let's go and grab, let's go and grab all the sales. Sales of bottom 80% of customers. So it looks like it's only the total. It's only, if you look down the bottom here, it's only the total. And so... Um, basically what we how we would look at this number is probably more so like this right so that's just about about sort of understanding what what formulas you have but you know it's it's sort of more the 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 um the theory the the framework here of how how utilizing this can just speed up so many different things like you know if if i was to give an estimate of how many formulas i have which are common which are um, that I use over and over again, I would say it's close to 90%. 90% of the formulas I use in models are all the same patterns over and over again, maybe 80%, 80 to 90%. And so um, think about, you know, I would say my, my, the speed of my development goes up by about a factor of two to three um, just by utilizing this. And uh, if you start utilizing all the other features in here, you know, it can take you even further. We've got, you know, M code, for example, M code, uh, we've got raw code. So things like um, Python, C sharp, um, you know, whole, whole lot of different things in here. Um, R, tabular editor code. So power apps code is in here as well. So there's even more code that you can put inside of here. Color themes, um, a few other planner tools, and we've got some other ideas as well. Anything, uh, we are open to any ideas around automating power bi one of the other big things that we're looking to build probably not into here but is uh design kits design backgrounds ways that you can quickly create incredible navigation experiences things that look amazing great ui great ux um, so we're looking um, really hard at trying to build out some of those things as well okay this one's gone on a little bit longer but hopefully hopefully you enjoy just working through you know some of the techniques that i use and, and a lot of the experts at enterprise dna are using and a lot of our community are using i mean we had um i think almost over 200 new signups for our app yesterday uh, not yesterday sorry last month um maybe even more than that honestly uh and you know i'm, I'm just seeing some consistent uh, efficient like cons like consistently a lot of efficiencies going on um just just with this you know just with one totally demonstrated but you know when you add them all up it's it's quite significant Okay, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Talk to you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, 
check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.